So what this problem wants us to do is sketch the curve generated by the parametric equations. We have two, one in terms of x and one in terms of y, and then to indicate with an arrow the direction in which the curve is traced as t increases. So as the parameter increases from negative 2 to 2, we want to have a directional arrow showing which way the curve is drawn. So what we want to do first with this type of problem is make a table from which we can obtain values in terms of x and y by providing values of t, the parameter. So we have our table with t, x, and y. And we know t is restricted from negative 2 to 2. So what we want to do is just pick a few values between these uh, two numbers, and including them because it's less than or equal to. And starting with negative 2, we'll uh, go by 1s because that's easy enough to do. So we have 5 points. That's usually a good number to have. It may be too few, usually not too many. But uh, from these t values, we'll plug them into our x and y equations and get values that we can then plot on a uh, xy coordinate plane. So when t is negative 2, we can plug in those t values uh, into the x equation. We get e to the negative negative 2, so e squared minus 2. When t is negative 1, we get e minus 1. When t is 0, we have e to the 0 plus 0, which is just e to the 0. And anything to the 0 power is 1. Then we have e to the negative 1 plus 1 and e to the negative 2 plus 2. Again, with, we'll do the same thing with y, just the equation is slightly different. So plugging in negative 2 for t in the y equation, we have e to the negative 2 plus 2, e to the negative 1 plus 1, 1, e minus 1, and e squared minus 2. Now, while this is great in that we have x and y points, we don't really know what these points are because they're in terms of e. So uh, I've pre-calculated these values, and uh, using a calculator you can easily obtain all these different values. So we have 5.39, 1.72, well this, these two are good already, um, 1.37 and 2.14, then we have 2.14, 1.37, 1.72, 1.37, 1.72 and 5.39. Notice the pattern they're reversing because we have e squared minus 2 and e squared minus 2. Because these formulas are so closely related, they mirror each other in some respects um, depending on the sign of the t value. So what we want to do now is graph these points in an xy coordinate plane. Okay, so our first value, when t is negative 2, we have x is 5.39 and y is 2.14, so about here. So we did that one. When t is negative 1, we have x is 1.72 and y is 1.37. Then we have 1, 1, the easiest. When t equals 1, we have our x value being 1.37 and our y value being 1.72. So notice that if we had a line or a function that's x equals y, this diagonal line, that it would reflect these two points um, as inverses of each other because here these uh, the x and the y values are the same, and the x and the y values are the same, but reversed. So, same thing with this last point. We uh, have our x value as 2.14, and the y value as 5.39. So now we have these dots, 
and we know the order in which we placed them. And the question is, uh, or it wants us to indicate with an arrow the direction in which the curve is traced as t increases. So t went from negative 2 up to 2. When t was negative 2, we plotted this point. When t was negative 1, we plotted this point. When t was 0, this point. t was 1, this point. And t was 2, this point. We just connect the dots in the order in which we traced or we plotted the points and just trace it from negative 2 to 2. Then we put an arrow in which we traced it, indicating how it was traced as the t value increased from negative 2 to 2. The parameter was increasing, thus tracing the graph via the parametric equations.